blessed day to everyone. I am Paul Montemayor from 334 and I am the representative of Group 2. Today, we will be talking about the age of exploration. Have you ever wondered how different countries were conquered and discovered? Have you ever thought about colonizing the world in search of goods and spices? Well, Portugal and Spain did. The two rival countries were the forerunners of the age of exploration. Soon after, other countries followed such as the Netherlands, England, Italy, and France. Many explorers led their countries to great heights at that time, but only few are very well known. In this documentary, we will focus more on famous explorers and what contributions they did for their country. So, I invite you all to sit back and explore. The first explorer we will discuss is the ever-famous Ferdinand Magellan. The ultimate goal of all explorers at the time was the Spice Island. No one could ignore the incredible wealth that had befallen Portugal as its vessels were turned home crammed with treasures. By 1515, Magellan struggled for a position in the Portuguese Navy. King Manuel I did not like Magellan and hindered his every step. Finally, at the age of 37, he asked the king to seek service to another. Magellan was convinced that the western route to the Spice Islands awaited discovery. In 1518, Charles V entered on an agreement with Magellan that provided him with five vessels and permission to seek the passage. The next year, Magellan and his team set sail. Magellan, however, underestimated the vastness of the Atlantic Ocean. Countless dangers, mutinies, desertions, and long periods of near starvation frustrated the journey before they finally saw the tip of South America. After that, the dangerous straits appeared. It took 38 days of slow navigation before Magellan's ships were back on the open sea again. By March 1521, they arrived at Quam, and there, they restocked their supplies with fresh food and were on course for the Philippines. However, the seemingly invisible Magellan was killed while trying to seize one of the islands to the name. The surviving men, now on two ships, set sail to the Spice Islands. In September 15, 1522, only one ship, the Victoria, arrived back home. The ship was the first ship to circumnavigate the world. Magellan was correct. One could arrive at the Spice Islands on the east by sailing west. Next up is another great and well-known Portuguese explorer named Vasco da Gama. He was born in 1460 at Sainz, Portugal. He was the third son of his father. The Gama's most famous contribution to the age of exploration is an all-water route to Asia. Vasco da Gama sailed from Lisbon in July 1497, took a long detour to the South Atlantic and rounded the Cape of Good Hope. In May 1498, he and his fleet reached India. Making it back to Lisbon on September 9, of the Gama's original crew of 170, only 55 men had survived. The Gama took two more voyages to India, opening up the sea route from Western Europe to the east via the Cape of Good Hope. On the other side of the story, Spain also made great achievements in the age of exploration. Christopher Columbus, a great sea captain from Genoa, made Spain achieve these goals. For years, Columbus proposed his plans to the Portuguese and Spanish kings, but he was turned down each time. Finally, after the Moors were expelled from Spain in 1492, King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella reconsidered his request. Columbus promised to bring back gold, spices, and silk from Asia, spread Christianity, and explore China. On his first voyage in August of 1492, he bought with him three ships, Nina, Pinta, and Santa Maria. 
On the early morning of October 12, they landed on an island on the Caribbean. Columbus thought that he reached the East Indies. He named the island that he landed on as San Salvador. After that, he went on to his second voyage. He visited the islands of Cuba and Hispaniola. Then, he sailed back home, bringing local people with him to prove to the queen that he reached Asia. As a result, the queen gave Columbus the title Admiral. Many more voyages were made by Columbus until finally, he realized that he did not reach the East Indies but discover new lands which will pave way for Spain to colonize lands. Have you ever wondered where the name America comes from? It is from Amerigo Vespucci, an Italian explorer that described the continents as Mundus Norus, a Latin phrase which means New World. A German map maker named the continent America from the said explorer in 1507. To sum it all up, the age of exploration made the discovery of the world possible. It proved that the world is not round. It made people think of other places out there waiting to be explored. And last but not the least, it paved the way for the progress of nations. As to what Julius Caesar said, I came, I saw, I conquered. This quote can be applied to explorers who conquered lands. So, that's about it. I hope you learned a lot about our group's documentary. Thank you for listening.